Hey guys, what's going on? Richard here with Alien Bros, and boy do we have a lot of crazy stuff to get into today. There has been a lot of insane news coming out over the past few days, and it just keeps on coming, and I need to make sure you guys are up to date on it. I have a few more UFO sightings for you guys, and the news afterwards is about another new deep space breakthrough discovery in the search for extraterrestrials, and after that, a bit of an update regarding the leaked Pentagon UFO footage from last December, as I've learned some new information surrounding it that I did not mention in any of my past videos on the subject. Also, I want to let you guys know, we have just finished creating official Alien Bros merch, so if you guys want to help support the channel and get some awesome Alien Bros gear, then the link to buy the merch is down in the video description. The best part to me, however, is that people will likely ask you guys what you're wearing, and when you answer them, maybe they'll check out the channel and go from a non-believer to a fellow fighter in this war for disclosure. Anyway, I have a few UFO settings I want to share first before we get into the news, and this first UFO setting is something very strange indeed. I originally saw this posted by my friend the Hidden Underbelly 2.0 on his channel, and it is nothing like anything that I have ever seen before before, and I felt I absolutely had to share it. It was captured by the cousin of a man named Juan Alvarez, and it shows this strange circle of lights that hover over a house in Oxnard, Canada on September 10th of 2018. And honestly, all I could say about it is just, wow, if this footage is legitimate and it appears to be untampered with, and as far as I can tell authentic, then we have something very big here. I'll go ahead and play the clip for you guys, and we'll dig deeper into it afterwards, alright? Here it is. I said, scary get the f out of here. Yeah guys, so I'm honestly not too sure what to say about this clip. I've seen and shared footage of strange lights that do not appear to have a solid mass before, but this one is nothing like anything we have ever seen or shared on the channel. From the look of the lights, it almost seems like they're connected to an invisible object, but I can't confirm that. Not to promote theories, but it could be possible that what we are seeing very well could be a hologram. Many of you are aware of the theory of Project Bluebeam, and this could be that very project in action. For those of you that are not aware of what Project Bluebeam is, it is centered around the idea that the government will one day soon use super advanced holographic technology to simulate a false flag alien invasion. Supposedly these holograms will be solid and actually able to inflict real damage to people. The idea is that the US government, along with other large foreign governments, will be using this to unite the people of Earth into one sovereign nation, and basically use this scenario as a weapon to instill the new world order. Now I'm in no way saying that this theory is correct, and I do not really like to delve into the realms of conspiracy theories that have very little supporting evidence, but I will say that this may be some sort of hologram and may very well be what this UFO is intended to be if the project actually has any basis in reality. I'm not saying it is real or fake, but I am saying that if it is real, and that is a big if, then we may be witnessing that technology right before our very eyes. Although I am leaning more towards my original statement on this being a cloaked craft, maybe with the lights showing up by accident, but who knows. Maybe they wanted to be seen. I honestly can't say for sure. I can only give you guys my theories and leave the rest up to you to decide and research into for yourselves, which I very much encourage everyone to do. My thoughts, however, are based off of years of research in the UFO phenomenon, and I will say that although I am not always right, I always try my best to be right and give my best to everyone so that they can have the correct information as well. I feel that knowledge is power, and the more we all know, the better off we are as a society in general. And let me know what you guys think this UFO is down in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts on it. We need to work together as one for the answers we seek, and if we all do our part, I know we will find them. Alright, next, I have a UFO sighting that was captured over Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania on August 24th of 2018, and it is some awesome footage. This UFO appears as two red flashing orbs, but they almost appear as if they are connected to one object. It is short, but boy is it sweet. Go ahead and check out this footage now, and we can talk more about it afterwards, alright? Here it is. So definitely some very strange footage indeed. I've been trying to come up with an explanation for this clip for a few days now and I have come up short looking for answers. I have come to the conclusion that I believe these two flashing orbs are connected to one larger object, much like how I feel about the last sighting we shared. They are in perfect synchrony with one another and at a rather close distance and it makes me think that this has to be attached to something. They are just too perfect and they are not only flying in perfect synchrony, but up until the one on the left disappears in the end of the footage, they remain flashing and what seems 
seems to be some sort of pattern. Usually with a red glowing orb sighting, I would immediately assume them to be Chinese lanterns. However, that is very clearly not what we are dealing with here. Lanterns do not flash or remain in sync with one another while in flight. They remain in the same spot through the entirety of the footage and are making no sound, which to me means that this is not an airplane, nor do I believe that this could be drones or helicopters. I believe this is one solid object that we cannot see the details of outside of those lights, and I think the reason the light on the left vanished was not due to the other light actually vanishing or leaving the scene, but rather I feel that the object the lights are attached to rotated and ended up in an angle that caused us to be unable to see the light anymore. It also seems somewhat like there is a bit of a nearly invisible body to the craft, and I very much believe that the witness in this sighting may have actually captured some sort of government or extraterrestrial craft in action. That's my thoughts on it anyway. I believe the witness's statement further asserts my theory as being very much plausible. I'll go ahead and read it to you guys now. The statement reads, Two ruby red orbs, no sound, moving as one solid object. It appears to be about cloud level. Although I can't confirm the altitude of the object, if I had to guess, I estimated it at about 1800 feet. My phone video is too grainy, and when I zoomed in, it distorted the real image. The orbs remained a solid bright red until they eventually vanished. What aircraft can fly without beacons or running lights? That is the end of the witness's statement on the sighting. To me, this is very much something solid, and I think that the witness seems to believe it as well. The witness also brought up a very good point. These lights are not normal running lights, and they certainly are not FAA compliant. Whatever the witness captured here is very weird and definitely a very strange sighting indeed. I have heard many people in the past argue the idea that a UFO would not have any lights on it at all if it were to visit us, if the aliens wanted to avoid us knowing they were here that is. I think this may make some sense, but the same point could also be argued in reverse, since they may have them for needs of compliance on their own world or even the greater solar system as a whole. They may simply not care if we see them either, or they may think that it won't matter as they assume that not enough people will believe that they are even here to begin with. Or, they may view us as so primitive that they may not care if we're aware of their presence here and feel that we are not enough of a threat to truly care if we see them or not, which would also warrant the abductions. I do not believe that this is the same for every visitor race, however, as we have seen mountains of evidence which we have displayed on the channel in plenty of past videos that our government is working with these extraterrestrials, specifically the Greys. So the government, it seems, does know that they are here, so at least some races may attempt to remain hidden and benevolent, while some other races may not at all feel they should go out of their way to hide their presence. Again, this is all just ideas. It's all theories that years of researching into this subject and going through the evidence has led me to. The point here being that the lights on these UFOs does not mean that there is no way that they are alien. However, with craft like this, I tend to lean towards this being truly ET, as I feel that as tight-lipped as the government is, they would likely not want to risk this thing being witnessed by civilians, even if it is cloaking itself. Let me get your thoughts on this thing down in the comments. If you can explain it away, then feel free to do so and help us get some answers about what these strange flashing lights could have been. Okay guys, I have one more sighting for you all, and this is certainly a weird one. You guys will need to see this for yourself to truly get just how weird the sighting is. It was captured over Rio de Janeiro, Brazil on May 18th of 2018. I am not so sure if this thing could be ET or whatever the witness filmed is definitely not normal. I don't know what it is. It is four separate videos that I will play back back to back for you guys. I'll play the clip for you guys now, so check it out. Sumiu. 
Alright, so I don't think I have any sighting that I could compare this to. I don't know if it was some sort of strange phenomenon or what, but it is certainly some bizarre footage. I don't know if this is ET or what it could possibly be. It is strange though and definitely still a UFO. The witness in this sighting claims to have been sitting in his living room watching television when he saw what he thought was a plane flying overhead through the window, which he thought was strange and may not have been a plane so he got up to look. He was able to confirm that it indeed was a plane, however when he looked ahead there were several white and red dots flashing like Christmas lights in a straight line. He at first thought it was some sort of decoration, but then realized it was impossible for it to be one based on how the lights were behaving and how high up they were in the sky. The object had several continuously blinking lights, several orbs one after another, some white and some red, and they went up and up and up always together. It made the source anxious and his hands were sweating which supposedly caused him to have a hard time focusing the camera. If this sighting wasn't strange enough already, the source claims to have become ill with a severe stomach ache and diarrhea immediately afterwards and believes that the lights made him sick. That to me makes this sighting very strange. What about these lights could have caused the witness to become ill literally immediately after witnessing the object? A lot of people report becoming ill after witnessing these UFOs and it always brings a new physical aspect to the sightings and it makes them even stranger. What could these lights have been? Do you think you know what these are? Are they somehow ET related or is this some sort of other strange phenomenon that could have caused this? I have no idea what this could be and I hope the witness did not take on any lasting damage from the sighting as there have been cases where people have witnessed UFOs and had radiation poisoning or some sort of other illness influenced by means unknown that caused them problems for the rest of their lives. Hopefully we can get answers on this strange anomaly the witness film. Alright, let's get into the news guys. The first thing I want to tell you guys about is that scientists have recently used new AI software to find 72 new FRBs. For those of you that don't know what FRBs are, it is an acronym for Fast Radio Burst. We have spoke about them in detail a lot in past videos and I recommend you guys go and check them out if you want more details on these waves of radio energy and why they are important. These waves sometimes only last for less than a millisecond and in that time frame produce the equivalent energy of what the sun produces in about 10,000 years. There are several theories on what causes these FRBs but no one has been able to come to an affirmative answer. It is theorized that these may be being sent from an alien civilization over 3 billion light years away from us and also 3 billion years more advanced than us. They said it could be the result of this or they may be the result of a massive alien ship or probe the size of two Earths covered in solar panels that may be harvesting star energy and sending out signals in every direction with the energy levels contained in these FRBs. Remember, these are not my theories. These are theories of accredited scientists. These are the same people we turn to when we want the most difficult questions of science answered. Now there is also an idea from other scientists that these could be caused by quasars or imploding stars. However this theory seems to be losing its credibility as we seem to be receiving these bursts in greater and greater numbers. Is it possible that this is aliens attempting to contact us? I think it is starting to look like it is. Some scientists have also theorized that this very well could be an alien race attempting to send a signal to Earth that they were in some sort of trouble and it likely would have made it here too late as it would take 3 billion years to get here and it is possible that race may no longer exist. I do not know if these are targeted messages or what, but they are certainly strange and it seems that they are coming here directly and I believe that there are too many that are being aimed at Earth for them to be a quasar or dying star firing random radiation bursts that are repeatedly hitting the Earth. To top it off, these bursts are all coming from the same general sections of space, never in a single location but in the same general areas. Scientists have not been able to locate an exact object that is sending these bursts and it is for this reason that they cannot say for sure that this is a star. They are seeming to be less and less random without a set location and the repetitiveness of the bursts means that simply writing them off as something normal like a quasar is not doable, nor is it accepted as a definitive fact. To give more detail on the 72 bursts that were found, a team of researchers working on Breakthrough Listen, a project which is scanning the stars for intelligent life, had taken original data they got from 2017 and they thought that they had found 21 signals in it. But when combing through the 400 terabytes of data, the AI went and found 72 more FRBs that were not found before and the University of California Berkeley PhD student Gary Zhang who created the AI that searched for the signals said and I quote, this work is only the beginning of using these powerful methods to find radio transients. Berkeley SETI Research Center Director and Breakthrough Listen Principal Investigator Dr. Andrew Saman added, 
And a quote, Gary's work is exciting, not just because it helps us to understand the dynamic behavior of the FRBs in more detail, but also because of the promise it shows for using machine learning to detect signals missed by the classical algorithms. A statement from Breakthrough Listen read, whether or not FRBs themselves eventually turn out to be signatures of extraterrestrial technology, Breakthrough Listen is helping to push the frontiers of a new and rapidly growing area of our understanding of the universe around us. In the end though, this is definitely some compelling information and shows an incredible advance in AI technology. That is a whole topic, however, for another video. Still, it is definitely some very cool information to have in our hands. All right, so finally, I want to cover the news regarding the Pentagon UFO from last December that I recently learned, and as such, failed to mention in my prior videos on the subject. The biggest of all being based around Robert Bigelow. We did a video where we delved into the claims that Robert Bigelow was given a multitude of unknown UFO alloys by the United States government, and if you don't know the whole story on the subject, then I will link the video in the recommended box at the end of the video so you can go back and watch it and get yourself up to speed. What I have recently learned is that Luis Elizondo, the man behind the release of the AATIP UFO footages, along with other condemning information, all confirmed by the Department of Defense, has claimed that these alloys, which were originally assumed to be metals, are actually some form of synthetic material that our most advanced science could not come close to recreating. I did mention in a prior video that those who handled the synthetic materials did become ill after handling them, and they had very unusual properties described as similar to the metals described in that of the Roswell crash incident, and it is possible that they are even the same metal. So to go further, I found it interesting that since this information has come out, Robert Bigelow has upped the security of his lab to a point that makes it more of a military fortress than a lab. Robert Bigelow himself is a proclaimed believer that ETs are visiting Earth and has funneled large sums of money into MUFON, the Mutual UFO Network, and has personally purchased metals kept as evidence from organizations like MUFON and others like it to be kept in his lab. Bigelow was also paid millions of dollars by the government to modify his lab and house these metals, and from what I understand, the lab is now bordered off by concrete walls, razor wire, and a security team similar to that of Skunk Works, the security working for Area 51. I found that the up security has a very significant development, and it confirms everything that was said by Luis Elizondo, and in and of itself helps to confirm the existence of these metals. These are supposed to be metals collected from aircraft with capabilities thousands of times beyond what we even have in our most advanced military technology. And to make things even stranger, the reason that the government gave the medals to Bigelow in the first place was to prevent them from being exposed by the Freedom of Information Act by storing them with a private entity that is immune to FOIA requests. That means that these medals are top secret to the point that the government would do literally anything they can to hide them and never have to turn them over to the public. This makes me wonder what Bigelow knows and what the government knows. I want to know what Bigelow has learned in his time of having the medals, and I am thinking it's safe to assume that Bigelow has likely experimented on the medals and researched them heavily. What has he learned? That is a question that I want answered and I'm sure you guys do as well. It is a question we should all be asking and bring straight to his doorstep because unlike the government, we can break his stranglehold in the information so long as we fight hard enough to obtain the information from Bigelow. Maybe if we push hard enough, we'll finally get some answers about these metals, what they are since the government seems to have been able to deduce the basics of their properties, and who brought them here. Luis Elizondo claimed the AATIP program he leaked from the Pentagon is still ongoing, and I would very much like to find out why the government is so concerned over these UFOs, or as they now call them, UAPs, and why they have been trying so hard to hide their existence from the public. Let's all do our part and try to unravel the rest of this mystery and get the answers we so all desperately want to learn. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today, but stay tuned because there is a lot more coming and we will have it posted very soon. If you liked the video, then please don't forget to smash that like button on your way out, share it, comment, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell. It really helps us out and it'll let you guys stay up to date by sending you a message straight to your inbox every time we upload a video that you can stay on the up and up with all the latest alternative news. And remember, you have to hit the bell button or YouTube will not notify you when our new videos come out. Unfortunately, just subscribing on YouTube simply is not enough these days because YouTube seems to want to pick and choose the content that people see, but that won't stop us from moving forward. Also, if you want updates on when our videos will be coming out, then please go follow our Facebook page. The link is down in the video description. And if you have some UFO footage or events that you would like to feature on the channel, then please email it over to us. Our email is down in the description as well, and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Also, if you guys want to help keep this channel going strong, buying some of our merch or donating even $1 a month to our Patreon would be extremely appreciated because YouTube isn't paying us, so this is all out of pocket for us. However, I have said many times before, we love it and we won't be quitting anytime soon, and I mean that when I say it. 
Thanks again for your support, guys. It means a lot to us. And don't forget to browse the channel if you're new and get yourself up to speed. As always, I'm Richard with Alien Bros. And I'll see you guys again next video.